Hello, 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 and welcome to the TrueCast. This is our channel, and welcome to our introduction video to so Southern Atlantic Triannual National Alliance, whatever that is. Mm. So, uh, I am your coach of the Broadneck Beewares, and I have my assistant coach with me. And you should probably know who I am if you've been paying attention to the Any league I'm in. Anything. And I've been in a couple things with him lately. So, so the spectrum, so. the draft was a while ago, and um, yeah. So our first pick, if I remember correctly, was Clefable. Yeah, Clefable is stupidly versatile. Yeah, because uh, you can I, run defensive cosmic power, uh, all the way up to uh, offensive life orb or something. Yeah, like, again, it's just called Fables, one more versatile fairy types. Uh, yeah, that's really we all we have to say about Clefable. Yeah. Uh, Slowbro is a good wall. I Just a good I mean, regenerator wall. Yeah, I wonder whose team this is sounding like already. <laughs> True. Uh. Oh, Clef oh, so Slowbro, or Paul, as I call him. I claim. So, because Paul is from Hayden. You guys don't know. Yeah. So basically, Slowbro is just there. fat. Fat could also be offensive, combined. True. Which I've proved in a couple weeks already. Defensive, offensive, very, very decent Pokemon. Regenerator just gives it that hit factor over a lot of Pokemon. So it's very, very nice Pokemon to have. Yeah, and my personal favorite so far about... Well, one of my personal favorites out of the draft is... Cooper! The Arcanine. Cooper is my dog. Doggo. Anyone's gonna ask. Alright, so, uh... Arcanine... So Arcanine is a very, very good Pokemon. I don't... I'm not too, too familiar with Arcanine. I'm starting to get used to him a little bit more. I've been playing around with Arcanine a little bit more in the underused tier in Smogon. Smooth. For a Sun and Moon drops on Friday, which I'm so excited for. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Arcanine can be defensive, it can be offensive. Banded, and I've been, I've been using the Bandit set way more. Yeah, I mean, I've been using defensive since... Spoilers, yeah. I've already done my week one battle, and... Whole... Uh, I made an Arcanine be able to live two earthquakes from a Mega Altaria. Yeah, it's very, very bulky. Uh, next up is Cobalion, which... Now, Cobalion is a, a sleeper pick, in my opinion. Yeah, Cobalion, Cobalion is one of the very the legendary trio, the uh, Secret Swords, in Gen 5. So Cobalion is a steel and fighting type. So many good little tricks and niches that it gets. It gets yeah. Magnet Rise, it gets Volt Switch, Stealth Rock, it could be Swords Dance, Sub SD, like, Sub, yeah. uh, it could just do a million things. Like, so, so much fun to use. And the, the funniest thing is, I've run Scarfed Cobalion before. Yeah, yeah, and Scarfed Cobalion, and it's got that really, really nice 346 speed tier. Yeah, so and it has. It allows you to beat the hundreds, it allows you to outspeed mods like Garchomp. Yeah. And yeah, it has 90 in both of its offensive stats, which is yeah, really nice. Plus it, gets, plus it gets SD, plus it gets Stealth Rock, it gets Momentum with I'm Volt Switch. I'm pretty sure it might get Calm Mind, I think. It gets Taunt. It, it gets so many cool little tricks. It, it gets like Calm Mind. I don't even... Um, the sad thing is, it doesn't get Earthquake, sadly. That would have been so cool. Again, it's just the steel. What does it need earthquake for? You know. Yeah. Earthquake is for what? Fire types. Yep, fire types. Uh, I mean, again, you could just build your team around it. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, moving on to your next pick. Uh, Flygon. Flygon, I love it. Uh, it's personally one of my favorite Pokemon. Every league, which is two. I've been in. I yep. drafted Flygon twice. I mean, I Flygon's so good, and it's going to get that buff in Sun and Moon with Dragon oh, Dance. I'm going to start running DD if I can. 
Oh, Flygon is my baby. I always yeah. Flygon is personally one of my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, like, and I mean... I love Flygon. It can run special if you want. I mean, physical is probably its better uh, way to go. No, I like the Scar... I always use the Gen 4 Scarf set. Oh yeah, Scarf Flygon is so good. Oh, this Gen 4 Scarf set, that is what made it... That's what made Flygon so popular, is Gen 4. Yep. Um... So. Flygon, I personally know, and plus with the defog buff, I gave it more use usage since Gen 4. Because in Gen 5, they completely dropped for a while. Like, Terrakion came on the rise, like a bunch of Gen 5 Pokemon, and then Flygon kind of... Dropped. Laid low for a little bit, kind of dropped down to UU from OU. From then Gen it dropped Four. to RU, but I think it's going to go Which back up I to think OU. It, I think it'll go back to UU or OU in Gen 7 with uh, Dragon Dance coming yeah. with Flygon. So I'm excited because, like I said, Flygon is personally my favorite Pokemon in yeah. a bunch of these games. So next we have Table Scraps, the Perugly. Yeah. Oh, I know Perugly. I'm the one that told you to draft Perugly because yeah. in draft style format, it's very, very one-sided. I will say it, it right now. But with the Defiant ability, it's so, so scary. With yep. that nice base 353, base outspeeding your Lotties. Yep. Outspeeding the Lottie Twins. Having that nice Sucker Punch fake out. You turn has, has ridiculous, like, really fun little niches that I've almost ran and uh the league uh my first league I, if uh one of my uh, my opponents had a Garchomp I was actually gonna run uh fake out natural gift Ganlon Berry to basically Oko the Garchomp after fake out yeah but he ended up trading for a Landers Perian so oh really yeah work out. uh I mean favorite. I brought uh Progly week one and it put it did pretty nicely I love Perugly. A lot of people don't. A lot of people sleep on Perugly, and then all of a sudden I bring it, and then it gets like one, two, three kills every game I bring it to because nobody preps for yeah. it. Because it was like, oh, so it's a normal type. What's it gonna do? And then I craft. Hmm. It's a normal type. It's the normal spam I always gravitate towards because I always want to grab one normal type on each team I make, and then it's just such a. I mean, normal type. types can be so good. Uh, example, Mill Tanks, Scrappy. Uh, yeah. Mill Tanks, one of the like the better normal types to pick up. And plus, it also gets knockoff and sucker punch. True. I mean, I uh, ran yeah. knockoff on Fraggly. Yeah. I mean, which McCall doesn't get knockoff? Per, uh, Mill Tank. That's why I like. And plus, Mill Tank doesn't get defiance. Yeah. Mill Tank. Every time I bring it, it always claims a kill, unless you know, it never comes out. In one of my battlers. In one of my battles, it never came out of the battle once. Alright, let's move on to uh, my my intro, the pick I was most excited for Mega Absol. Mega Absol has been really rising in popularity ever since Lars of the Borussia Dawn fans and then uh, Jim Leader Geo in the GBA drafted. And then me, fam! No. I mean, it's so, it's good, but it needs a lot of, like, things to pair around it. Like, it needs a fairy switch in, it needs something to eat up fairy hits, it needs something to do a million, it it needs a lot of team prep around it. Yeah, I've I've done that. I mean, I've built my team around it. so far, I mean... I mean, Absol doesn't like what fairy fighting types. Clef Clefable. Doesn't crap. It's neither does Slowbro. Fairy type. Yeah, Slowbro doesn't care. Fighting type or fighting type? Goodness. Uh, fairy. what was it? Fairy. Po- I have, uh, I have things later in the. Skobalian yeah, we'll kills fairy. Arcanine. Arcanine. Yeah. And then something then late. Day. And then uh, one of my later picks. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Ab- Absol one fifty base attack, one fifteen base special attack, and one fifteen base speed. That's and plus insane. It's really, really, really nice. Like, plus that you need some good momentum gainers again. Like I've already mentioned, Perugly, Flygon, uh, Koba, Kobeleon. Like, 
Uh, we'll get to another mod later that has that same exact thing. Actually, two mods. Or, yeah, two mods. I forgot about the other one. Yeah, so let's move on to that mod, which is Thunderous Therian. Yep, Fundy T is the one I was just thinking about. I wanted to bring it up, so. Thunderous Therian, he, okay, so far our draft hates electric types. Bar Flygon, but yeah. what do all electric types run in this gen? HP Ice. Yep. Bundy doesn't care about your stupid uh, ice type moves. I mean, yeah, it's a flying type, but again, Volt Absorb is so nice. And then that monstrous special attack, base 145, I think it is. Yeah. Something ridiculous like that. Oh my. And then base I... 101 speed. Which and that is basically pretty good. Up your base 100s. Isn't that the same tier as Garchomp, or is it just a little bit slower than Garchomp? I think. Garchomp is 102. I think it is, too. I do not remember off the top of my head, but... Thunder Therian is a very, very scary mod to switch into. It's one of, It falls into the wall breaker category. It can come in as a late game sweeper with dual dance, specs, scarf. I've seen a couple of scarf thunderuses before. My favorite set is the specs set. I always used to just run a whole rain team in the overuse tier and then just go to town with Specs and Therian because it's yeah. so much fun to use. So, I, I personally like Thunderous a lot with fo with uh, Volt Switch, Focus Miss, everybody loves Focus Miss. And I had to, like, prep for Ditto this week, remember? And I yeah. came up with so many things around it because Ditto's one flaw that I figure out is Hidden Powers. Yeah. I mean, again, you could just run so many things with Thunder is again the dual dance set, just regular nasty plot, powering through teams, specs, just so many good things from Thunder is. Yeah. So right. let's move on to the next one. Tangrowth. Tangrowth is your mon to pair with Slowbro. Basically, Regenerator Core, there you go. Slowbro Tangrowth. Tang to tang tang tang. <laughs> So, Tangrowth is, it, it can be run a million different ways. It's one of those Pokemon that you have to guess which one it's going to be. It's either going to be physically defensive, AV, like physically defensive with Rocky Helmet, Assault Vest with Spadef, Assault Vest with maybe some physical defense. I, I've even seen some people run Offensive Regenerator. Like, I've, I've done seen... that before. I've run Offensive Knockoff Tangrowth. Or you could even run, like, offensive Sunny Day Chlorophyll Tangrowth one week. You do so, yeah. so many things with Tangrowth. Tangrowth is one of, one of my more fun, one of the fun picks I recommended for him. And the Tangrowth pairs greatly with uh, Thingy. It, and there's this Fire Water Grass Core as well. And we've already covered the Fairy and the Dragon. And it's and really Steel. defensive Fire Water Grass as well. Yeah. Which is, well, kind of. Arcanine could be either or. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess. I mean, Slowbro can really be kind of... It's really bulky, but... Slowbro can kind of be offensive. Not too offensive, but it can be offensive. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Like, the Combine says, what really sets it apart from others. So, again, I, I love... You know, Arcanine versatile and what it could be used as. Tangrowth, bulky, but also can be offensive. Slowbro is just really bulky and pairs with Clef amazingly, as what I've been proving this week. Not really, because I'm only two, but... <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, but again, people hate prepping for Clef and Slowbro together. They just pair, pair hand in hand. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, alright. I mean, I, I love it. I it's fine. I'm getting sick. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so let's move on to the next one, which is Fortress. So, Fortress is. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. It, uh, excuse me for a second. I have to do something. Thank you. 
Sorry about that! No, nope, you're fine. Sorry about my, myself. I was dying over here slowly. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Fortress. So Fortress. Fortress is a bulky steel type, is what we needed. Because Koba, I consider more a physical steel type. Yep. But there's your fairy check as well. Fortress is very, very fat. <laughs> And but, I really, I really wanted to run a certain set this week, which was a uh, Iron Ball with HP Fire. Which again, I mean, Fortress is one of those Pokemon that's interesting to me because again, nobody ever thinks of Fortress as being one of the. It's honestly, in my opinion, better than Pharaohthorn. Yeah. Yeah, it has. Same exact weakness. As, quad weakness. Actually, it has fire. zero weaknesses. Or, except well, for fire. Quad fire. Quad except for fire. Well, Ferrothorn has fighting, ground, etc. Et not ground. Not ground. Neutral to ground. Oh, yeah. 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 So, again, like I said, I, I, argue, I argue all the time with people. It's like, Ferrothorn... Ferrothorn gets Leech Seed. Oh, and which gives it that longevity, and it can run Rocky, Helmet, Iron Bars. That's why Ferrothorn's so popular. Fortress gets Rapid Spin, and all the Rocks, spikes. Spikes, Toxic Spikes. Sticky spikes. Imagine if Fortress got Sticky Webs. That'd be insane. God, that'd be amazing. Then I think it'd be OU, and it'd beat Ferrothorn all yeah. day. So uh, also, yeah. it gets Volt Switch. It gets... A can be offensive. Gyro, gyro Ball, which I really wanted to run. Gyro Ball, Iron Ball. And one week, it gets on Totemize, so we're going to have to run that one week. I want to run that so bad. Slam. It gets Heavy Slam. It gets a At plus of... two, if I'm 252 Jolly, I'm pretty sure I outspeed Weaviles. Yeah, I mean, again, it's just so, so, so much fun of a Pokemon. That it's such a sleeper, because again, Feral Thorns is always there and it's always been better but then when it came out in gen 5 now i in draft league format in my personal opinion fortress outshines ferrothorn well yeah because uh ferrothorn is Ferrothorn's, more one-sided ferrothorn can be kind of whatever you need it to be but the reason i like fortress so much better is because of that bolt switch because of that rapid spinner Gives you a million other things. Yeah, and the last momentum, etc. Yeah, the last one I want we, we are gonna talk about is Frostlass. Originally, the spot was reserved. Gorgeist, but so that, you know, what our original plan was was to put something like similar to I have in this league, which is me and Shao and Slowbro together, yeah. but. Smites happen, and then we were going to put Gorgeist in that spot. So, a, so we ended up going Frostlass, which is a ghost type still. So, the ghost typing is argue, and then Ice type on top of that is arguably one of the greater typings offensive yeah. wise. Ice type is already amazing as is because there's a limited number of them, and then whenever you see one pop up, you know it's amazing. You know it's just gonna. You I have mean, to really. The practice. downside of uh, Frostlass is it's very very frail. And it ha doesn't have the best special attack. Cause you're we're gonna have to be running like specs, like almost every week to guarantee Okos and stuff. I mean Frostlass is not terrible special attack wise. Ninety. It, it yeah. does. I, I mean, it, it does have not the. It has a good move pool and debond spikes. It gives you a hazard stacker, etc. Et <laughs> Hashtag uh, Mega Frostlass coming next. Oh my! Glalie got one, so Frostlass is next. Yeah. Uh, I mean, look what happened in uh, XY. Our Oris Galade got one. Gardevoir.
four, I think it was, and yeah. <laughs> so, I was going to find what uh, the original thing, but whatever. Yeah, you know. I mean, Frostlass could be good with its cursed body. I could. I have yet I, to. I, I love. I want the standard set, which I kind of don't want to run at this point. Which would kind of, it just would just be spikes plus two bond or something. That could be multiple different things. Yeah. I love Frostlass because look at look at the moves it gets. I'm looking at his move pool right now. Shadow it's Ball, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, etc., etc. Draining Beam gets Fairy coverage and not a good Fairy move, but it gets Draining Kiss, which is which is kind of amusing. So I can see like a calm mind. Uh, Let's go. Calm mind, uh, draining kiss, uh, frost labs, let's go. <laughs> it gets a water move and water pulse. Not I'm very, pretty sure it gets know. dazzle. I, I don't think it does, though. I'm not sure, though. I mean, it gets a water pulse. You know, not a great water move, but it gets that water coverage. But, yeah. I mean, again, well, in case you, like, you don't have a switch into a water type, like, let's just say, I don't know. There's a weakened chandelier and your scarf one week, you know? Yeah. You lost Beta, Scarf Shandy, and then you have Waterfalls. He's already been weakened, he's in range, Waterfalls kill. Yeah. And it catches your phone off guard, you know? So you're like, oh, yeah, he doesn't have a. a or Shandy's a bad example because obviously you have Shadow Ball. But let's just say a pure fire type, like, I don't know, Houndoom. Darmanitan. Darmanitan, Houndoom, whatever. So again, and then I think also it has the base speed of Lotties. Yeah, base one ten. So. Yeah, so it could speed tie with the Lotties if it's running HP. If the Lottie is running HP fire, then yeah, bye bye. You could get blown back by a Shadow Ball or Night Beam. So. Well, once Hyper Training is yeah, a thing, that might not be a thing though. Yeah, like a lot of things are turning into the moon. As that's what he's talking about. Yeah, Sunday I mean, is changing up the whole meta game. Changing everything up right now. So. Yeah, so I think that's oh, yeah. that's our review of our draft. Uh, on Sunday we will up. I will upload yeah. the bat my week one battle, which will be fun. So comment, rate, subscribe really helps yeah. out the channel. And if you're cheering on the broad neck, bewares. Have fun with that. Comment. Uh, uh, bye.